Hey everybody, this is Midnight Update. I'm Seamus Byrne. Welcome to Thursday, 26th of March. <laughs> Following up last night's Photoshop CS4 and Photoshop Elements demo session led by Adobe's CS4 guru Michael Stoddart, we're back with some demos covering Premiere. We're starting off with Elements as it flowed out nicely off the back of the final discussions on Photoshop Elements yesterday. Same fundamentals as Photoshop here. It's built on the Premiere Pro engine, so the same grunt is lying underneath everything. You get some nice templates for DVDs, plus a nice batch of automated tools and effects that are in some ways easier than what Premiere Pro will do. Then we'll look at Premiere Pro itself and some of its great new features. Did somebody say auto transcribe? Anyway, yeah, shut up Shay. Over to Michael. So I have these two clips. Uh, when I outgrow the scene line, um, I can go to the timeline. So we have the same control as we have in our full NLE. We have up to 99 video tracks, if you wish. Yeah. So now, the interesting thing about this, I'll show you, um, I'll, I'll put this over the top. Actually, no, what I'll do is I'll even do it this way. I'm gonna delete that. So again, I can extend that, I can zoom in and so on. But if I take this clip, this is a piece of technology that came when we bought General Magic. Uh, I think it was General Magic. And place it over the top. It's called Video Merge and Ele Elements knows that there's a solid background behind that clip because it's done the smart tagging and so it knows what's in that clip. And I could do this in lots of other ways. This is, I like to show it this way. It says, you know, it contains a background color. Do you want to do, apply Video Merge? Now Video Merge is an effect, so I could have done this manually and go and apply the effect first. But what it does is it knows what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to key out the background of this, that top image uh, and it does it for me instantly. And because it is um, the technology that we've got, it automatically um, adjusts for changes in, um, in lighting across that um, top clip. And that's because that's what our customers wanted. Yeah. They wanted a quick way to be able to do keying and they want it to be good. And we can always adjust exactly. that keying there. And that's, you know, it's a little bit um, feathery there, but we can, uh, we can uh, take that out. And I've got to be honest, you know, um, ABC HD requires a fair amount of grunt to, uh, to edit. And um, uh, now, the thing about these themes, though, and these instant movies is it does give you a single movie. And people go, well, that's great, but, you know, and like a lot of other applications, is that all, is, that, is, is it fixed? And the answer is no, we can break apart one of these movies so into um, a fully editable um, clip. So, again, you can start off with our themes. You think, well, that's great. Uh, I've made the instant movie. So this is, this is that end result of that, um, of that um, instant movie. It comes up with the titles, has the music on it. This is the road trip version. But what I can do is click on it and break apart the instant movie. So if I wish, there's all the clips you know, and all the individual edits. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's immediately much more complex, but again, I can adjust any single one of them. So it, um, it, I like one of the, our, our philosophy with the Elements products is not to hide anything from um, our users if they want to get into it. It's very hard to edit a waveform. Uh, our design it's much easier to edit a um, the spectroscopic analysis of it if you want to remove dead sounds or you know, noise or something like that. Pops, ticks, <laughs> cell phone rings, stuff like that. Um, so the, um, the same technologies in Sound Booth, uh, I've already done this one, that's all right. Um, it's, it's really um, <laughs> not a lot to demo. I'll just hit transcribe. Um, so what it does is it will listen. Again, I've, got, I've just got the two English ones. We ship with you know, um, the European languages and so on. I've just restricted to Australia and US. Yeah. Um, it will identify the speakers. Um, so if there are two people, it will attempt to pick between them. Click OK. And it does it at about 1.2 to 1, so it doesn't actually, it's not the um, same time. It will be, um, any, depending on the um, quality of it, you can get 1.5 to 1, so yeah. uh, it's good for transcribing on things. Press play. And, and not a, you know, a huge uh, you know, Hollywood uh, budget, you can actually produce a film noir movie and then use After Effects and all the rest of the tools in the, in the package to actually assemble a real professional looking movie. And it's exactly the same process here, but of course uh, we're assuming that a lot of the time you want in the speech to text is part of the metadata capture process as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we put it into the same um, 
area that you would normally be putting your metadata in. Video these days is a storage problem. You've got you know hundreds of hours of video and you don't know what it is apart from the file name and the metadata. And if you've got XML um, um, speech transcripts, it makes it much easier to find that file. What it also does is allow us to put search online, put search on the web. Uh, now if I convert that XML into um, cue points in the flash stream, um, I can search video. I had because kind of what film noir is, is basically using whatever you have at hand and, and hiding whatever with light. The Swift in here knows that, okay, when I find it, just jump two seconds beforehand. Interesting side note on Premiere Pro CS4. When you buy that, it also comes with Encore CS4, the DVD production package. And that not only lets you build very nice interactive DVDs and menus and the like, of course, but instead of outputting to disk, you can now also output in the form of a Flash website. As a Macromedia fan, since back in the days of Flash 3, that's a feature that shows the Macromedia takeover was well worth the price of admission. Now, Photoshop CS4 costs $1,415, Premiere Pro CS4, $1,615. Either Elements is going to cost you $165 standalone, or as a double, $245. Now for mine, the Elements Double is unbeatable value, not just against its own big brothers, but I think on anything else on the market. That's all for tonight's update. Thanks for stopping by. Join us weeknights around midnight Sydney time for daily geek news, and for more coverage, visit midnightupdate.com.